Morning folks, um, working well with my uh, Grenadiers of Cheval, so I thought right I'll uh, take you, to you guys through how I paint one of the standard troopers. So there we have the, the basic guy, a bit lower yeah. Um, I'm not going with the brown undercoat wash, I normally do as you can see from some of the troopers that I've done. I wanted to use the um, oops, too high. Look at me. I wanted to paint the buff gloves, gauntlets, and trousers, so I haven't used the brown wash. So, um, first thing I think I'm going to do is paint the gauntlets and the breeches, surprisingly, not. Uh, I'll get those painted and uh, then we'll work out what's next. Right, the buff paint is dry, so now we've got to work out what we're going to do next. So I'm thinking the next thing is to do the blue. Um, cause a problem on the white, but I think uh, blue, put a sort of reasonably thick coat on the blue. There's enough of it, which is under other colours, uh, other parts of clothing. And then put a blue wash on. Um, a stain of wash afterwards. Yep, so we'll get on with the blue. Okay, so that's uh, the blue dry and the buff dry. I think with a figure like um, this or, or other such figures, you or I tend to have to work my way around the figure to find out where it's at and what's involved because you can pick it up and go, OMG, I mean. Oh, there's so much to do, where do I start? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But once you can get your hand around it, so obviously with the buff is a good proportion of it. The blue is a good proportion. And then we've got white webbing and the orange trim cords. Um, so I'm going next to do the trim, the cords. I forget what they're called, is it agulets or whatever? Um, I'll also put some, I'm using a brown undercoat for that, or a red brown undercoat. I'll also put some red brown on the epaulets, which are a goldy colour. And I think we'll then be getting well on with where we need to be. So um, I'll get that sorted now. Right, that's the red brown onto the uh, cords and the epaulets. So we'll just get that dry, I think it's nearly dry, and I'm going to apply some orange, and I think I may apply some gold. Um, what I will do though, I will undercoat the face now in a wash down red brown as I've got it out, that'll give me the, the basis for the face, and the chin straps, and the hair can all be undercoated in that brown. Um, I'm using this figure, mainly the bare skin to hold it, it's a very nice steady platform. I'm not one for using clamps or drilling through the the figure to hold on a, on a, on a piece of wire. Um, so I tend to hold my fingers like that. But uh, yeah, with this bare skin it's nice and steady and that can be painted once it's fixed on the horse. So I'll get the face, hair and chin straps completed and I'll also get the orange and probably the gold on the chin straps and the epaulets. Right, that's the brown, the orange, and the gold um, all added in. So what I've got is, uh, yeah, the faces had the basic orange um, undercoat after the red brown was put on. Gold chin straps are completed, epaulets completed. I've also done the uh, the basket hilt as the the gloves are buff. Um, basket hilt done. I'm going to now, I think, add uh, the flesh wash. Um, I'll just finish off the face first. I've got two shades to go on that. Uh, the German orange and then the pink, or uh, not pink, I do uh, Flat flesh, that's the one I use. Uh, after the German orange, so I'll put that on. Um, I think then it's time for the flesh wash so we can uh, color everything in. And then it's gonna be the webbing, the white straps which I shall do in an Iraqi sand to start with. Um, I may also do the red turnbacks. Um, so I'll get that all sorted 
and uh, we'll see what we get. Right, that's uh, a sustainer added to the, uh, well you can see all the areas that the stainer has been added to. Uh, the buff gauntlets, the buff trousers, I've added stainer to the orange, uh, to the epaulets, face and hair and the chip straps. And also we've got the red turnbacks, uh, the back obviously, being turnbacks. Um, the webbing is mainly with a buff, I've got a little bit of webbing here to paint the buff, so I shall do that. Uh, I've used Iraqi sand for that. And then I shall go over that in a couple of shades of white. I'm also going to highlight the orange again with a slightly brighter orange. Um, that's then most of him completed. I'm using the head, obviously, the hat. Sorry, the bare skin to hold it, as you can see. Um, so I think uh, what I'll do is uh, a bit of a little worm there. I need to trim that off on the end of the musket um, or the carver. What I'll do, I think, is paint the boots, and I think then it's time for him to be mounted on the horse, so I can complete the uh, cavalry musket, and the cartridge box, and the bear skin. I think. So yeah, I think just the last stage, get the black on the boots and then we'll uh, we'll mount him up. And if I have a look, I think, yeah, that's what we're gonna need to do. Get this webbing completed now. I've got, a, got the bayonet to sort out when it's on the horse, the scabbard to sort out on the horse, and obviously then the musket, which I can get at, I think quite easily. I think I'm okay on the horse, aren't I, to get at the musket, yeah or the carbine or whatever you want to musketoon. Okay, let's get the, all those things sorted. Right, um, he's on his horse, as they say. Um, the horses you've seen, I've been showing you them this week. Um, horses completed before. The orange has had its three or four shades. Um, so what I've done is basic musketoon has been lined with brown and black. I'm going to put silver obviously on that. I'm going to need some gold on the a cartridge pouch. Uh, I've got to black the uh, bayonet and gold the scabbard and then it's really just touching up bits and pieces obviously silver sword um, and then it's going to be the bear skin I think then basically everything else will be finitoed yeah silver there, stirrups obviously furniture on the horse but yeah he's all uh, He's ready to have those finishing uh, touches added. So I'll get busy and then come back uh, when I've made some more progress. Well, there we go. He's uh, basically uh, finitoed. I've just uh, I've got a bit of varnishing to do. Might be the odd um, <coughs> bit of uh, stainer on the musketoon, but I think I've basically got it. Didn't like the musket here, it's very scrappy, very difficult to get at bits and pieces of it, but I don't know if it shows, does it? I think I've sort of got it. It's sort of uh, carried upside down, you know, but uh, yep, yeah. so he's all done, silver's all on, gold's all on, bit of stain of varnish to do, as I say, and the odd touch up, but he's ready for varnishing. Oh, I've just noticed the rosette, I've got to put the white around the outside and the blue central dot, but uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna stain the varnish the scabbard, and I might put a bit on this, the musket too, and I'm not too sure, but. So that's how I went about painting the uh, Grenadier Cheval. Uh, not as, well, it's daunting to start with, but it's not that bad once you get into it. I still like my orange on the horse. I still think that's the horse. The orange on the Shabrak is my favorite, <laughs> more than the figure, but there you go. So he now goes with the other of these figures. Are they showing up? Yeah, we've got those at the back. So we've still got to so put them in there. We've got the four there finished. There are three here that are nearly finished, I'll get those finished later today. 
at the time of recording this, and then there's another five horses are done. All the orange is done, it's just the uh, the figures and they're doing. Um, so I'll just turn that there. Yeah, so they are getting done. So we've got, I've got four done finished. That's a third of the way. But it's more than a third, obviously, with those uh, three riders and the eight horses completed. Um, yeah, I'm doing this on uh, Friday morning, but I've got a busy rest of the day Friday, so I won't be able to do these till, uh, till Friday evening. Uh, make a start on them again. But uh, there we go. Such is as it is. So there you go, a little show and tell on uh, where we are with the Grenadiers of Cheval. Thanks a lot and uh, bye for now. I'll just show you that. That's what we've just done. Okay.